Hi everyone, if you're just joining us, my name is Kelly Perry. I'm the founder of Team Flower and I do a lot of the educational and inspirational videos here at Team Flower. I've got my cameraman Jesse here and we are showing up today to remind you that you are an inspiration to so many people. I know it doesn't always feel that way and we don't have the information, the feedback to say it, but that's why I'm here today to remind you that the work that you are doing with flowers encourages people to go and do what it is that they have dreamed in their heart to do. So by following yours, you're helping others follow theirs and I'm really grateful for you. I hope that you enjoy the flower arrangement that we are going to make with beautiful product from Certified American Grown. We have several different farms represented here, Cam Floor and Paja Rosa's Flora. And um, we're gonna hop to it. Working with American Grown products is really, really fun. I hope that you'll ask your retailer or your wholesaler for American Grown products and uh, support the farmers that are here in America. They play an important part in the big flower picture and we are so grateful for each and every one of them. All right, let's hop in and make an arrangement. I'm gonna start today with one of my favorite ingredients. I was so happy when I saw this in the delivery. It's foxglove. <laughs> So I'll use foxglove to establish the shape and the size of the arrangement. Today we are working inside of a low vessel from a company that I absolutely love called Accent Decor. They do all kinds of really interesting and always changing collections of products. And we are really grateful for the work that they do to support us as florists. So that's where this container and the containers that you'll see around are from. And today, if you're curious about mechanics, I'm working with a flower frog. I love working with flower frogs. These ones are from Floral Genius. And the sister company is Harmony Harvest Flower Farm. They are also a certified American grown farm. But they offer this really great mechanic that we can use. It does not rust. They are coated and designed to be very long lasting. Anytime that I'm making something inside my home or for fun, there is always a flower frog in my vessels because they're just so easy to use. You just want to work from the outside of the flower frog in. If you find flower frogs to be difficult to work with or you've tried it once and we're like, this is too hard, it's okay. You just didn't know exactly how to get everything judged in there with a bit of practice, just like with any mechanic. Um, it's actually very simple to use. So I hope that you'll give them a try. This one is just so pretty and delicate. I love all the color variations, little freckles. I love that bumblebees come in to take a rest in the fox glove. And I hope that that's what I can be for you. I hope that I can be a safe place for you to take a break and set your cares down. You know, I was just thinking, did I put enough in, like, should I stop? And then I had the thought of, why would I stop? 
they're here for me to use and to enjoy right now and for you to enjoy right now. I'm not creating for a client. I don't have a budget restriction in mind. I'm just taking this time to really look at the flowers and enjoy them. Often, whenever we host our workshops, I literally have thousands of flowers. There's like <laughs> bunches upon bunches upon bunches for every single person. And there's always so much left over at the end because people didn't want to take too much or didn't want to take what somebody else might want, which I appreciate the consideration. But I also think that if your friend wants some too, you can just go ask your friend for it. That's what I've started saying. And um, people started taking more of the flowers and enjoying more of the flowers. But I think we just kind of naturally have in us that, oh, I've maybe taken too much. Um, and we miss out on really enjoying abundance whenever it's so close to us. So I'm going to use all the foxglove today. <laughs> I'm going to layer in some of these pretty bells. You ever think about what flowers would say if they could talk, if they had a voice? Well, I was just thinking about it. <laughs> and I think that if these flowers could talk, they would say, you are loved, you are loved, you are loved. <laughs> I'm glad they submitted to the process. I'm glad that they hung in tight when their world felt really dark. And I'm glad that they always had the goal of reaching towards the sun and its brilliance. That they sacrificed the energy that was needed to bloom and to bring the message that they were meant to bring. The birds are chirping. Do you hear it? <laughs> I hope you can hear it. When's the last time that you listened for the birds? That you went on a treasure hunt for all of the rhythms and gentle sounds that they make for all of the honks and hoos and <laughs> beautiful music that they create.
Mm. Feel it. Feel how it feels in your hand. This one has rough edges. has rough edges, but it still belongs here. We want to include it. <laughs> Bunny grass. Soft and soothing, like gentleness. Gentle words in a Tense situation <laughs> make a really big difference. Mm. I've never arranged quite like this before. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Just letting my mind drift a little bit. I wasn't expecting that, <laughs> but I think that's exactly where that was made to go. <laughs> Sometimes I have an idea of where something should be headed, where my life should be headed. And then something happens and it fits so beautifully in a different way that I didn't think about before. This one's really pretty. Mm. Like a handshake, a smile. 
somebody reaching out. I hope you received. <laughs> can be scary to reach out, especially if it's in a new place that you aren't sure if you belong there or fit there. I will say that you belong here though. If you love flowers, then I think you probably do if you're here. <laughs> oh, this isn't a place where you have to fit in. I hope you never fit in or try to fit in. I hope that you will always belong at Team Flower, that you will be totally yourself <laughs> we do very much like you just the way you are. Hmm. Orange? here. I think that okay speaking of belonging these ranunculus may feel like I'm a little bit too bright to belong here but I have a feeling that if place them just right, they will bring life and vitality <laughs> to this arrangement in a way that none of us were expecting. Sometimes we just have to find our spot and shine in that spot. To wait on this one. <laughs> sometimes it's our job to hang out low and sometimes it's our job to go up high Thankfully, we don't have to do either one all of the time. <laughs> Sometimes when you go up high and everybody sees you, whew, that's a very vulnerable place to be. And even at the bottom and uh, all the in-betweens. <laughs> being human is a vulnerable place to be. love that ranunculus come in so many different colors. 
and all of the fun little spots and stripes and fluffy petals. You may have noticed I've, I've been grouping some things as I go. It's good to go in a group. <laughs> Safety in numbers, big impact in numbers. Over here, you'll see an implied line. So your eye will be connecting the dot, taking it up and through. And down here, we're creating a little focal area, place for the eye to rest. It's also a part of an implied line. Your eye could go here, 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 big, medium, little. Right on the edge. These are hellebore, something that always reminds me of home. Not home when I was little, but home when I had just set out on my own. Shortly after I was married, um, the next winter, I took my mom and dad to a hellebore farm in North Carolina, and I had never seen anything like it. A winter garden that just would completely, completely blow your mind. It was, it was bonkers. It was amazing. I'll never forget it. <laughs> They have a hellebore festival every winter where you can go and buy all of these incredible hybrids and it's really worth the trip. It was a fun memory that I had with my parents. It's good to go places. It's good to make memories, especially with flowers. I still think of my aunt every time that I smell lilac and my grandma is 
you know, we're driving down the road and it's early spring and there's rows and rows of forsythia. <laughs> As a little girl, we would drive and um, she liked helping us with our pronunciation. And she would say over and over again, for Scythia, for Scythia, for Scythia, until we pronounced it just right. <laughs> Not a bossy grandma in any way. She just was so, is so good at spelling and words, and <laughs> you'd never know that she was the only student in her class on a teeny tiny little farm. Sometimes there's some little bits and pieces of things to trim away to uncover the beauty. Look at this. <laughs> Can you see that up close? Incredible. Well, let's just add one or two more and I've really enjoyed making this arrangement with you today. <laughs> it's fun to be your flower friend. Thanks for listening to my stories. <laughs> I hope that you'll share some of your stories with me too. I'd love to hear what's going on where you live and about the work that you're doing with flowers. All right. Until next time, I hope that you'll let your face bask in the sun <laughs> and that you'll go for a run if you want to. And more than anything, I hope that you will feel so very loved. <laughs>